All right, back here at the Angels Rest Hostel again. Getting ready to start another section. Heading back to where we left off at uh, Little Creek. And taking four days to hike uh, back here. So we've done a lot of work to this place since we were here last time. Got the bunkhouse finished. Bathhouse finished. Bunch of gardening done, looking good. Looking good here at Angels Rest. All right, here we are back at Laurel Creek, picking up where we left off. Only got about nine miles today, heading up to the Helvey's Mill shelter. And uh, yeah, I'm going to stay the night there tonight and head toward Bland tomorrow. Got nine to do today, about 16 tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so it's about one o'clock, just getting on trail. Hoping this rain holds off, but uh, rain or not, definitely glad to be back out here. Got down here to Route 42 in Bland and stopped off here at the brand new Rushy Mountain Outpost. Got me a cold Gatorade and good barbecue sandwich. Very, very nice. Good stop here. And the trail is right beside the trail. The trail is right on that hill right there. So if you're coming through Bland, stop here at Brushy Mountain. Get yourself a barbecue. You'll be glad you did. Alright, just leaving the uh, Brushy Mountain Outpost, coming up on I-77 down there, nice little view from here. Yeah, only a couple miles left today. Very cool little spot. Right here at the Helvey's Mill shelter site, setting up camp for the night. It's a nice little spot, a lot of tenting areas. Set up under here, under the trees. Yep, it's going to be home for the night. Here we are sitting in the tent. About 7.30 or so, just started uh, started raining on us while we were hanging out out there, so came into the tent, and now we got a thunderstorm coming overhead, but actually really hasn't started raining very hard yet. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll just blow on by. Alright ladies and gentlemen, it's the morning of day two. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning, just uh, finished getting packed up and eating my breakfast. We're uh, on the side trail from the shelter headed back to the AT at uh, Helvey's Mill shelter. 
Uh, slept out in the tent last night. Uh, rode through a couple thunderstorms. It's actually quite soothing. I got a really good night's sleep last night. But today we got uh, just a shade over 16 miles to uh, Trench Grocery, where we should have a good, uh, good hot dinner and probably uh, camp there. They have a little campground there. Yeah, so far it's looking like the weather uh, is taking a turn for the better. Chance of rain and thunderstorms has gone down a little bit. I was expecting to have to pack up in the rain this morning, but you might be able to tell on the camera that the sun's actually shining a little bit. So that's good. Yeah, great night, great hike so far. See you on down the line. Was that 611 over there? Hi! Ran across Do you some trail magic? awesome trail magic here. Oh, okay. Very nice folks. Got a good cold Gatorade. Um, Taking a nice little break. So Was going to take a break together. here anyway. But they're Gatorade Good deal. And the white cooler, beer in the blue. We have fruit pasta salad. From here to getting down to Kimberlin Creek. We'll go across the suspension bridge here. You really feel this thing shaking and bouncing. Probably can't tell on camera. This bridge is moving all over the place. Alright ladies and gentlemen, just finishing this uh, half mile road walk down to Trent's Grocery. Where we're going to get some food, we're going to get some beer, and we're probably going to end up camping out. And that is a huge dead snake. Good grief I think, big. Anyway, we're going to get in here and we'll let you know how it is. Alright, so we're here at Trent's Grocery. Just ate a nice big burger. Chugged a couple Gatorades, bought, bought a little bit of wine. And we're set up out here. Going to camp for the night. Nice little tent spot over here. Picnic tables, fire ring, power outlets, horses. They got it all. So far I'm digging Trent's. Shower house right there and laundry. Very cool. All right, just pulling out of Trent's Grocery here. Stayed the night. Had a great night. It's probably about uh, seven or eight other hikers. We all 
Hung out for a while, had a pretty good time. Definitely enjoyed myself here. Uh, for six dollars camping, uh, you can't beat this. But uh, yeah, so today we're heading back to the trail and heading up towards uh, Woods Hole Hostel. It's gonna be a beautiful day. All right, it's coming down the side trail to Dismal Falls. And uh, we're just about here. It's about three tenths of a mile off the AT to come down here. But uh, I understand it's not to be missed. Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. I'm going to hang out here for a little while, relax, wait for old homestead to show up, and uh, just enjoy this awesome spot. All right, so we're uh, technically done for the day. It's uh, about five o'clock. We've done uh, fifteen point two today, not including you know side trips down to the waterfalls and stuff. But uh, got here to Sugar Run Gap Road, and um, I'll wait on my buddy Homestead to show up, and uh, we'll make a decision as to whether we find a place to stealth out here. Or if we uh, head on down this way and uh, go check out the Woods Hole Hostel, which I've heard amazing things about. And uh, there's no water here close anywhere. So I think I might end up at Woods Hole, but I'll talk to Homestead when he gets here and we'll figure that out. Woods Hole Hostel, here we are. Woods Hole Hostel, what a heck of a place. Absolutely beautiful. Got the view down into the valley. 
Got the gardens and the animals. Beautiful old cabin. Got the tent pitched right up there. And this place is not to be missed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's day four, last day of the hike. Just uh, finished the half a mile road walk up from the Woods Hole Hostel. Now I'm back on the AT. Had an amazing stay at Woods Hole. Definitely recommend it to anybody coming through. Great breakfast, great crowd, great atmosphere. We got uh, about 11 miles today to get back to Petersburg. And then I'll be heading back home. Ladies and gentlemen, so we are officially off the trail. Uh, just finished coming down Paris Mountain. I'm walking down, uh, I think it's called Cross Road or Cross Avenue. It's a 0.9 mile walk uh, into Parisburg. So I'm just going to walk myself right back into Parisburg and back to the Angels Rest Hiker Haven. And uh, that'll be it. It's been one amazing adventure. I enjoyed every minute of it. The weather was great to us. The people were great to us. The terrain was great to us. I have to say this hike ranks among uh, among the top hikes I've done as far as just uh, pure enjoyment. So yeah, we're gonna walk ourselves down in here to Petersburg and I'll probably touch base with you one more time when we get there. And then we'll wrap it up. And here we are. Pulling up on the Angel's Rest Hiker Heavy. Whoo! Walked through town, got me a cold Powerade to recharge. Got me the last, uh, well, it's probably close to two miles from the trailhead to here, but here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, once again, it's been an absolutely amazing adventure. One of my favorites so far. And it's got me looking forward to the next one. So until then, see ya.